It's a pretty wintry Tuesday afternoon here in the Curra and this evening at 6 o'clock Dennis Brosnan, the chairman of Horse Racing Ireland, will depart his post. We're delighted to be joined uh, by Dennis. Yeah, it finishes this evening at 6 o'clock which is great after 21 years and uh, uh, yes I've been a Croom host since 1986. Uh, as my wife would say, you never took the time to enjoy it so hopefully start taking the time to enjoy it from here on. You've had some great success there as a breeder. Yes, we started off, we were lucky like everything else we were looking when we started because of the first uh, five mares we bought, uh, two of them had produced Group 1 horses and uh, that obviously has continued during the, the past decade or so because we've had the very good horses of um, Zoffany, maybe etc, Damson and um, we were so close to being there last um, Saturday evening in uh, Hong Kong uh, where a horse we bred and got sold uh, was beaten a half a length in the Hong Kong Derby, another Group 1. Right. And what gives you most buzz as a breeder? Is it something, is it the sales ring as they go through the ring or is it watching them on the track subsequently? I love to see the falls, you know. Uh, we go out and see, uh, you know, either that fall has uh, a light of bone or that fall uh, has uh, very weak hocks, etc. So we start off by looking at the, f we start off by looking at the falls, following it all the way. But even during the past years when I didn't have time, I got seriously stuck into the breeding side of it, along with uh, Paul and my son Cahill and Joe Hartigan. Uh, so we all got involved there on what we'd made to, and obviously we got very much involved in um, in, how, in selling. And a great year last year in, in terms of selling, 33 through the ring, not out. Yeah, we had, yeah, uh, 2011 was good and 2012 was exceptional, so uh, let's hope it's the same. We have, uh, I think we've put about 30 up on our website again this year to show what we have available and we have some good ones again. What are you, what's your vision for the future racing? I mean, most of what you wanted to achieve in your view, you have achieved. Yes, it's funny uh, what I've expressed it two ways. One, on a personal basis, that we, I think it would have been... Uh, John Magnum and others would have advised me at the very start saying, look, make sure you have the highest end of the market, you, you have top quality uh, brood mares, etc. And what we've been selling over the last few years, they're all going, virtually all of them go to, uh, uh, I'll use the phrase, uh, non-Irish buyers, you know, they're, they're, they're travelling around the world, that's why they win around the world. Uh, so, um, but if you come back to two achievements, one is, yeah, we've been successful at Croom House, I suppose more so I will look back and say, was there enough achieved during the time at, uh, as chairman of the various uh, racing authorities from the racing board, IHA, HRI, etc. Um, almost there, I, I would sum it up and say, yeah, we've achieved 80% of what we set out to do. It took 21 years and uh, uh, it's for uh, my successor, Joe Keeling, to try and deliver the last 20%. What are the positive aspects uh, you see in the rearview mirror as you leave racing administration behind? Uh, positive would be obviously the success of ITM in exporting the Irish horse throughout the world. Um, uh, positive in as much as the, the funding of racing has increased basically from 3 million to 50 million and that has led to a vibrant industry and perhaps very positive when we see the success on the racetrack, you know, we had it in Cheltenham last week, etc. Uh, all those are positive things also. The, um, uh, the rebuilding of a lot of new of, of the rebuilding of the old race courses of, of new facilities on the old race courses uh, perhaps the negatives um, uh, the cost of administration of racing is still far too high uh, the cora wasn't built the cora hasn't started and it wasn't built which is uh, is seriously needed uh, and may, maybe more than anything else is the government talk the talk but they still haven't sorted out uh, the tax um, implications for racing, which is really the amount of money that's going offshore where no tax has been collected on it. That probably is a frustrating thing for you as you leave the job, is it? The last one I would have thought should have been the easiest because it was a case of a number of civil servants sitting down writing the tax legislation in as much as there has been no objectors during the course of the past uh, few years. Uh, the bookmakers have come on side. Um, uh, HRI, everybody agrees there's too much, there's too much betting going offshore without tax and uh, yet we haven't the legislation. The positive signs for, for, for racing, I mean obviously uh, we had you know some extraordinary success in the Classics last year in the flat, uh, 14 winners in Cheltenham last week and also some of the bloodstock figures are back strong again aren't they? Oh yeah it's great you know that uh, maybe it was supply and demand it was part of that with the uh, production thoroughbred falls has fallen from about 13,000 to 8,000 uh, so that has given an increase in demand but the horse being produced in Ireland and the horseman coming from Ireland whether it be the train or the jockey the stable lad you know they have found their way all over the world um, and you know Ireland and racing 
uh, for a little small country. Remember, we are third in the world, uh, USA being the biggest, but it's a very big country, Australia being the second biggest, and Ireland being third in the category of, for, the, for the production of thoroughbred horses. So it's unbelievable for our size. And personally, you have business interests in Britain and America, um, but leaving um, your racing administration will give you a chance now to, uh, to go racing with a degree of peace and tranquility, won't it? Yes, I have a lot of racing or a lot of racing visits planned over the next few months because I go to Dubai for their carnival, which is next week. Uh, when I come back, I'll be home for a few weeks and I intend uh, uh, going on to the Kentucky Derby and that will bring us straight into the uh, English Derby, Irish Derby, so, uh, and lots of fun as well. I intend going to, obviously, the Carnies, the Stoles, the Galway, so I'm going to enjoy the year. Enjoy this. Thank you. Thank you very much.